What is up Zombie Nation, welcome back to your daily dose of zombie news, zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies. This is your host Dame and let's get right into that video. Before we get into the actual news guys, I'm going to ask for a spicy little like goal today of 150 likes. If you can smash that like goal, you'd be absolutely awesome. If you are new around here and you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe for daily COD zombie updates every single day to the Dame and that game channel. And if you do make it to the end of this video and you do enjoy it, please make sure to share this video with your close friends, with that girl next door down share it with your dog if you really have to tell him i said woof but with that out of the way with guys let's get right into that news not a lot of news at the minute guys so i'm gonna do the best of a bad situation today so the first story today is coming from the one the only jaybird32 if you don't know jaybird32 he is an awesome awesome youtuber he's making it big in the mod tools community at the minute and he is creating some absolutely beautiful projects this is the same guy that remade the thunder gun and the rega mark ii for mod tools i mean deserves a lot of respect just for that well, he has just made another two weapons ready for Black Ops 3 mod tools. The first weapon he has made is the AK-12. If you don't know what the AK-12 was, it was an assault rifle from Call of Duty Ghosts and it was also in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This was one of my favourite weapons in Advanced Warfare, one of my go-to weapons every single time. I absolutely loved it and he has remade it now for Black Ops 3 mod tools. I just cannot wait to use some of these guns. This guy has just made so much. So much is unbelievable. Every time I go on his channel there's something new there is a group of modders and every time I go onto their channel they've made something new but he's remade the AK-12 again there's a little bit of footage on screen absolutely amazing beautiful work as usual but that's not the only thing he's created recently he also has just created the Vector SMG the Vector is a much loved weapon by many many Call of Duty fans I mean it throws out bullets it chucks them out so quick this SMG has been in so many maps it's crazy it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 it was in Black Ops 2, it was in Call of Duty Strike Team, Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Online, it was even in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, so it is definitely a fan favourite and he's just remade it again for Black Ops 3. We're going to be able to use this in Black Ops 3. Like always, there's a tiny bit of footage on the screen now. Again, it's not my footage. So if you could just go to his channel and show a little bit of respect on his video because he is the creator. I'm only showcasing it. I'm not showing an awful lot more. But to go over to his channel and show him some love would be the right thing to do. Because he is the creator of these guns. And they're absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work. I don't know how many more times I have to say it. But these guys are creating the game that we are going to be playing for the next couple of years. Of course, Infinite Warfare Zombies could be an absolute boss, but we just don't know that as of yet. And even if it was, we're all going to miss Black Ops 3 Zombies. So I'm just glad we've got a huge inventory to use as soon as that mod tools drops on PC. Our next story today is the secret is withheld, we must not fail. Also in the news, a follower of mine on Twitter last night tweeted me a video from, I believe, a YouTuber called Cody and it was a video of the giant including the trap and the fact that you could change the color of the beams of the trap at the bottom now I knew I seen this before so I hear my main man the gaming revolution a good friend of mine on YouTube well I mean, I'm going up in the world. I'm actually calling YouTubers friends now. Damn. But I hit him up and I said, yo, dude, what do you think about this? Is it been debunked yet? And he hit me up with a reply and said, debunked? No, it has not been debunked yet. Nobody else has looked into it and it's completely forgotten about as of now. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there is a bit of footage on screen now from the gaming revolution. Again, his links will be in the description, so make sure you go and check them out. I believe I have to credit some more people, so I will do at the end of this video. But within the gaming revolutions video, there's a bit of footage on screen now. He does some rather peculiar things to make some rather peculiar things happen. Now many of us thought this was a lighting glitch. The only weird thing about this particular lighting glitch is that we can replicate it every time. Every single time we can do this. What you need to do is you need to get killing time. After you've got killing time you need to shoot the clock with the wonder waffle. You know the clock, the one that keeps clicking back, clicking back. You need to shoot it with the wonder waffle. After you've shot that clock with the wonder waffle you can actually go through to the traps that teleport to sea and when you turn on the traps you get blue orbs spawning on the bottom and not only that the actual place where you turn on the trap itself you know with a little red light that turns green actually sparks electricity now when I first saw this I thought lighting glitch that's the first thing we thought everybody everybody in the community was like lighting glitch is a visual glitch but we cannot debunk that just as of yet we cannot say it's a lighting glitch just yet there is so much more to this game it is so much more involved and it seems like everything in this map everything in this game is done for a reason now now if the teleporter only glitched little blue spawns or little blue orbs at the bottom and that was the only color 
I would completely accept the fact that it could be a lighting glitch. But these guys have replicated it in many different colours and had things coming out of everywhere. I am just going to give you a little list of things we've managed to do in the giant with killing time and including the traps. Now I'm not going to go through a full tutorial because believe me it's about 20 minutes long. I'm going to link you to the Gaming Revolutions video. This guy is absolutely awesome. Please I recommend you go and check him out. His links are in the description. Guy's got like 150,000 subscribers. I mean he's doing very very well. But he goes on to showcase in the video after doing particular steps with the traps, the wonder waffle and the gobble gun killing time. He has managed to replicate blue orbs shooting into the ground. He has managed to replicate red orbs shooting into the ground and not only that he has managed to replicate green orbs shooting into the ground. Now we have a rainbow shooting at the bottom of these traps and we just cannot figure out why. Now it only happens when you use killing time and you shoot either the trap or the clock with the wonder waffle. It depends which way you do it round and that will be dependent on what light orbs actually spawn. But not only that, not only that, the most weirdest thing. Now you could now argue the fact Dan, you're, you're absolutely going mad mate. You're going, you're going crazy. I could be going a little bit mad in front of a PC all day long trying to make you guys videos. The footage I'm about to show you now will make any sane man completely crazy. He manages to get in the lightning strike come out of the actual trap itself. Now where you turn the trap on like I said earlier with the green light and the red light, there's an electric beam. Now I don't know about you, I understand what a lighting glitch is, but I cannot understand for the life of me why this particular trap would be shooting out electrical beams. I mean, it just, there's no reason behind it. I cannot understand why. But that is not the only weird thing to do with one of the trap controllers. If you go over, if you take a right in spawn on the giant, as if you're going to teleport to A, and replicate these steps again, the trap controller starts to smoke. Now, I know we can go lighting glitch and visual glitch about everything else, but smoke? green puffs of cloud coming out of the actual trap controller that doesn't even make sense at all even if it was a lighting or visual glitch it just doesn't make sense there is hardly no smoke on the giant there are no things that really create smoke on the giant so why is there smoke coming from the trap controller it also seems like we've been able to overload it with some sort of power and it's given up now of course nobody has actually proceeded to carry on with this because everybody just debunked it as a lighting glitch but i think there is so much more now there's many 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 of us that believe there is a lot more in the giant to be discovered and there's many 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 of us that believe the giant is over with but we are now all on the search for the super easter egg within revelations and to leave out the giant would be like buying all your kids ice cream but leaving one without it would be pretty cool to leave out the giant right now so this is a call to action guys again the gaming revolutions video is going to be in the description go over and watch that video and let's try and replicate this let's now try and see if we can progress this and debunk this finally because we cannot leave these questions unanswered when there is so much more to do in this game so if you've got all the gate worms if you've completed all the easter eggs and you've done revelations and you've got all those achievements and calling cards it's time for you to go back to the giant and start playing around as we all know glitching queen posted a video not long back explaining that the rk5 is now our spawning weapon after you finish revelations could there be something within the rk5 we just don't know we need all of us to get together get back onto these maps and really debunk these things Treyarch will not tell us if it's a lighting glitch or not I mean I think it's pretty cruel to do such a thing but not only that I would have thought by now Treyarch would have fixed something like a lighting glitch this was very very popular when the giant first came out and nobody has done anything about it they fixed exploits they fixed easter egg glitches they fixed many many types of things but they haven't fixed these particular things in the giant now before we just end this video guys like I said earlier the footage that the game in revolution used was actually a mix of everybody's footage so I'm going to shout them all out now it is the right thing to do so the first guy I believe was a guy called Zodiac the second guy was a guy called Gangster Gamer TV and the last guy was a guy called Stride EMC. All their links will be in the description, so make sure you go and check them out. Of course, show them a little love. You know the drill. But guys, that's all I've got time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did make it to the end of the video, don't forget, as always, we're trying to hit that like goal of 150 likes. If you can do that, you're absolutely awesome. I've had a few people complain recently that I'm promoting my channel at the beginning for about 30 to 40 seconds. I mean, sometimes I make really long videos, and believe me when I say, the day I started asking for a like goal, is the day my YouTube channel started blowing up and it's not like it's blowing up because I'm asking just for likes it's because those likes are actually making me rank better within the search terms which is giving people more awareness that I actually exist so I'm really sorry that you don't enjoy the intro but a pro MLG tip for you if you like my videos 
but the intro really pisses you off 30 seconds just skip 30 seconds through the video it's really really easy my little daughter can do it herself so can you but guys if you did make it to the end of the video again like go not gonna repeat it again but if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe for daily cod zombie news updates and don't forget to share this video with your friends guys this has been your daily dose of zombie news zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies i have been your host dame and we are at wait for it 39,000. 629 subscribers. Damn. Let's go.